Hello, I'll be showing you how the web PTD works and I'll give you a run through of all the features. It's pretty user friendly and simple to use. You will need to install any kind of software and it can be used with your web browser. The first thing you need to do is to open web.voiceoverping.net on your Chrome browser. And to log in, you just have to enter the username of the account that you want to use and the password right here. Now that we've logged in, let's say the first thing you want to do is to look for a specific user. The easiest way to do that would be to click on the search icon right here. You'll see a list of all the other users, so you can scroll down and look for the names, or you could just type in the username of the search box right here. Let's go with Jane. Now that we found the person we need to talk to, let me show you how the PTT feature works. It pretty much works the same way as a walkie talkie, but instead of pressing a physical button to talk, we'll be clicking on the microphone icon right here. This works the same way as a push to talk button that you would have on any walkie talkie. Now, if you can see my screen, you can think of these two as two different users. The one on the left is Sam and the one on the right is Jane. Sam would be the user on the web PTT and Jane would be the user on her own device. To send a PTT message, I would just have to click on the microphone icon right here, hold it down, speak and release it to send the message. Let's have Sam send Jane a message. Hello. Sam. And just like that, Sam sent Jane the message. If you heard that, that was the message Sam sent Jane. For Jane to get back to Sam, it's pretty much the same thing. Just hold the PTT button down, speak, and release to send the message. Hi. Hi. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And apart from PTT messages, you can also use voice ping to send regular messages, the same way you would on any other messaging app, like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Just go to the person or group that you want to message. So in this case, let's have Sam send Jane a message. Type in what you want to say right here. And send to send it. One three, Sam says test. If you heard that, that was the message being read out. This feature helps many of our users who are always busy or have their hands full. Many of them can't check on their devices, so it helps if the text messages sent to them are also read out. With this feature, your users won't have to drop whatever they're doing whenever they get a text message. And to send a message to a group, you just have to go to the group channel. This is a group channel. Type in your message and hit send. It works exactly the same way. <clears throat> Our app also has multimedia features to help you further enhance your communication and manage your staff more thoroughly. You can send photos or videos just like you could with any other messaging app. To do that, just find the user or group that you want to send your photos or videos to. So let's pick user 14, which is the user right here. And to do that, I would send photos by clicking on this picture icon right here, or I would send videos by clicking on this video icon right here. Let's try sending this user a photo. This, and then go to the folder with the picture that you want to send. Select the picture. One three, Sam sends a picture. And once the picture is uploaded, it sends. If you need to create a new group, it's pretty simple as well. Just click on the search icon right here. Click on new group. Enter the name of this new group that you want to create. We recommend starting the group names with 01, 02, 03, and so on, because it makes it easier for you to search for them. Let's call this group 01 Red Team. 
once we have the name of the group, we just have to pick who we want in the group. So in this group, let's have Jane and John. And then we click create to make it official. Now that we have the group, we can add or remove members just as easily. If you want to remove a member from the group, just go to the group channel. We're already in the channel. Click on the name, the group name. This will bring you to the info page. And then you click on remove for the user that you want to remove. So let's remove John. And just like that, he's out of the group. To add someone to the group, just click on the add icon right here. You can scroll through the names of people who are still not in the group, or you can search for him by typing his name in the search box. Let's add John back into the group. And just like that, John's back. If you're a manager and you wanna keep the focus on a certain channel, all you have to do is to select that group channel, like this one. And to the right of the channel name, you'll see a lock icon. If you click on that, you'll see that you have two options. You have 10 minutes and a permanent option. Let's try the 10 minute option. If another user sends this user a message, those messages will be unpaid. So let's try that. Let's have this user send this user a message. Hello. If you saw that, the message popped up, but it didn't play because this user is still locked into the channel. But if I unlock myself, I'll be transferred to this channel. Hello. As you can see, I was transferred to this channel. When you get the message while you're locked, the message will be unplayed. To hear the message, just go to the channel and click on play. Hello? Hello? And if you're getting too busy because you're handling too many groups, you can temporarily leave a group. If you leave a group, you won't get any messages or unplayed messages. When you leave a group, you can also join back easily anytime. To leave a group, all you have to do is to click on the search icon right here. Go to groups. You'll see a list of all the groups that you are a part of and click leave for the group that you want to leave. Now, if you really need to catch someone who hasn't been replying to your messages, you can always use the paging feature. 11105.vp channel. Sending a page to someone will force that person into an active channel with you. So whatever you send, he'll get it instantly, even if he was active in another channel with someone else. To do that, just go to the conversation you're having. So let's have Sam send Jane a paging notification. What Sam would do, would do is to go into the channel she has with Jane, the conversation she's having with Jane. Click on this star icon three times. One three, Sam sends a page. And just like that, Jane will get the paging notification. As you can see, Jane was in another channel and she was taken out of that channel because Sam sent her a paging notification. This paging notification will go off every 30 seconds for one hour or until Jane gets back to Sam. So let's get back to Sam. In more urgent situations or in bigger emergencies, you can always use the SOS feature to reach your whole team. This will override any conversation that they're having and will alert them. So as you can see on the right, uh, Jane is talking with Sam, 
But if Sam sends an SOS paging notification to this group, which Jane is a part of, everyone will receive it. So let me show you how that works. What Sam would do to send a notification, an SOS notification would be to go to the group, click on the SOS icon right here three times. Once Sam says SOS, and you'll see that Jane was taken out of her conversation with Sam and was taken to this page because Sam sent an SOS paging notification to the group, which Jane was a part of. The SOS alerts everyone in the group and it'll come in pretty handy in emergency situations where you would need to call out on your whole team. So instead of having to message one person at a time, this feature instantly lets everyone know that the sender needs help. You can track the location of your users as well in real time and get updates on where they are. To do that, click on the map icon on the top left right here. It's the one before the search and log out icons. When you do that, a map will appear on the right side of the page and you can expand it by clicking on the arrows on the top left part. To search for a particular user, type his username in the search box right here. Let's look for Jane. Well, we can already see Jane. So to see the location history, click on the name, click on the user on the map, click on the bottom right part of the screen, the icon on the bottom right of the screen. And just like that, you'll see the location history of that user. And lastly, you can upload recordings of the group or one-on-one -on -one conversations that you've downloaded. These can be downloaded with the admin account. I have previously downloaded a group conversation. It is a zip file, and if you open the file, you can see the individual audio, text, and picture files. Right here. To view it on WebPTT, just click on the search icon right here. Click on recordings. Click on the upload box. And open. It'll take you to this channel where you can see everything that has been recorded for that day. I downloaded the recordings for today, which is August 17. After you upload, this, will how, this is how it'll look. You can replay them and see the senders and timestamps of these conversations. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. SOS. SOS. So these are all the messages that were sent on. 11105.vp group channel for August 17. Thank you.